Hi guys, Chia from Pro Drones. So today we're going to look at the M350 RTK, uh, which we will get to why in a while later, but basically we call it a facelifted uh, M300 RTK to simplify it to most of the customers who ask. So uh, as you can see, uh, visually they are very similar. Uh, the amount of changes uh, there is physically to the drone is actually very minimal. Uh, dimensionally, they're similar. They even use uh, similar uh, props and pitch. Uh, the only few small places which you would see the difference would be, first of all, the RTK antenna. So this one would have uh, slight small spikes on the outside, pointy bits on the outside. Uh, if we look at the back, you will see there's a small uh, knob here. So this is for the O3 antenna. Uh, the O3 antenna upgrades it to a sim system similar to that on the M30. So you would have two transmit paths and four receive paths. This would give you actually a better video link and faster data transfer. So video is now upgraded to 1080p uh, real time and a slightly longer uh, connection range. Critically, actually there's a small change. So built into the arm now, there is a arm lock sensor on each arm. So there won't be any more disputes if the arm wasn't locked properly uh, before takeoff. So one very common issue with the M300 was uh, there would be users who weren't sure whether the arm was locked or they forget to lock the arm or they forget to check if the arm is locked before takeoff. And uh, mid-flight, the arms will fold in and there have been a, a few uh, incidents. So with this, there's no longer any question if the arms are not locked properly, what will happen is the aircraft will prevent takeoff. So it will not allow a takeoff in the event there is the arm lock that is not armed and it will tell you specifically which arm is not locked. Okay. Um, otherwise, the aircraft, uh, small changes, uh, the FPV camera. So if you look at the FPV on this guy, there is no lens, sort of. Right? There's a, that fish eye dome lens. This one has a flat lens. This one, uh, the M350 now has a starlight camera. So which is essentially a night vision camera. So you can actually see better uh, at night. And everything else more or less remains the same. So the one thing to note with the M350 is a difference in the amount of supported payloads. So the M300 would have some backwards compatibility. You would be able to use your H20 series, your P1, L1 uh, series of cameras, but also you'll be able to use your Z30 and your X-T2. With the M350, support for the Z30 and X-T2 is no longer available. So that is one thing to consider if you're still using payloads like those. So if you have any questions uh, or inquiries, uh, you can drop a comment below or email us. And as always, thank you and fly safe.